scam. This stuff is like actually cute. It kind of makes my boobs look a little bit saggy, which I'm hating. This is what a Pinterest person would wear. Tell me I'm wrong. I feel like I've made it. TikTok fashion brands. Some look a little bit scammy, I'm not gonna lie, but I thought I would test them out in today's video. If you guys didn't know, I am doing a week of videos this week. I am also giving away a Visa gift card every single video. So to enter, make sure that you're subscribed and then just comment down below what you would spend it on. I'm super curious and if possible, maybe leave me a social handle so it's a little easier to contact me. Also thumbs up because I work super hard on these videos and I really appreciate it and let's get into it. Look at me filming like a fashion related video, but wearing whatever this is. I swear I'm not wearing gray onesie, even though it looks like it. The first store that I want to go on is Motel. Y'all, their store is so cute. I definitely heard about Motel before TikTok. I've never actually ordered anything from them. All that stuff is so cute. Oh my god, the brown pants. <gasps> $69 for a top though. Why am I trying to find a discount code now? Oh, you got all the snacks. black too. Someone suggested Adika. Let's go on their website. Adika. Hopefully they ship to my country. Buy three, get two free site wide. What the fuck? Really? <laughs> How have I never been on this website before? Well, the vest is cute. The vest is cute. I just ended up on this website called Sido. Their stuff like straight up looks like it's from Urban Outfitters, except like maybe a quarter of the price of Urban Outfitters. Have you guys heard of this before? Was I living under a rock? Is this website a scam? Their stuff is like actually cute. Is Sido clothing a scam? I guess I'm just gonna figure it out for myself. I've been waiting for this one. Why am I still awake? Please hit the subscribe button. I feel like I should definitely be asleep. I saved the best for last, which is Verge Girl. <laughs> That's just like my personal favorite shop at the moment. I like feel like I just, what am I saying? Go to sleep, like literally don't online shop right now. Okay, I literally have nowhere to sit. I actually didn't think that this order from Motel was going to arrive in time because their shipping was a little bit slower. On Motel, I really noticed a theme on their entire website and it was just like neutrals, beiges, browns. Honestly, this might be my favorite thing. I've already tried these on and put them back in the bag and tried to make it seem like I'd never tried these on, but I actually have and they're so freaking cute, y'all. They're just these wide-legged flare pants that are super flattering on your waist and they fit super tight. I feel like these are more flattering in real life just because it's so white with these in the background But they're so cute and they're actually comfy Like I've never literally looked at this piece of clothing and it actually looks kind of crappy quality Look, It so, looks like you need to iron it pal Really does look like I just took this out of the bag and then just like scrunched it up This is meant to be a top It doesn't look great It looks like it's gonna be way too long for me Like why is this actually cute? I realized that I was holding it up completely wrong and you have to like Chris it over. This is such a cute little outfit and you don't need a bra. Love that. I don't know. <laughs> Does stuff normally look like it's being rolled up and thrown in a bag when you order it online? But the flare leg pants were such good quality that I expected these things to look a little better. Maybe this will look better on though, but it's just this like little cropped button up cami. It doesn't have adjustable straps, which I feel like is gonna make my boob show. Oh, I don't like it. Number one, it makes me look naked. It's too like close to my skin tone. The straps are so long. It kind of makes my boobs look a little bit saggy, which I'm hating. And it's also just like kind of a weird length. It's gonna go back. <laughs> I just realized I think it might have been on final sale. Now, one thing that I always see people buy from Rotel is like this really flattering shape of jeans. They're like tight in the waist and then they're like looser at the bottom. It's like straight legs. I actually found a really cute pair of Rotel. They were kind of expensive and they didn't even have my size. So I ended up going on Asos and I found a very similar pair. But these are literally so pretty on and I think that they were like $50 as opposed to $80, which I'm obviously not mad about. They're so flattering. It's honestly the perfect amount of baggy in the bottoms. I feel like I could eat in these. They're not as comfy as I thought to eat in. I'm just like thinking about me sitting at like a restaurant. <laughs> I feel like these were for sure due to the Murtel ones, but like maybe even cuter. 
Should I be honest when I like talk about this, right? Yeah. You know when you just like have a feeling that the package that is coming is maybe not going to arrive, maybe you ordered from a sketchy company and maybe it's going to be really sh quality. That's honestly what I thought from this cider package. I was wrong. Like I feel like the stuff in here is like actually good quality. So I ordered this vest and I have seen so many of these on random websites and like they're just quality and they don't look good. I've already tried this on. It is such nice quality. It's like thick. I feel like Emma Chamberlain would wear that. Me too. That with a little bra top. Ooh. This outfit makes me feel like a Pinterest blogger. It's like too fashiony for me. I showed this to Bestie Parkane and he was not in support. But I feel like he hasn't got the Pinterest vibes. Oh, maybe, maybe Kane was right. Every time I go on Pinterest, I see girls wearing these jackets, like, unbuttoned. I'm, like, really looking at it, and it's not my vibe. It smells so bad. <laughs> Smell it, pal. Oh, I don't hate it. It's definitely a little different. This top has the potential to be so hideous. That like cute but kind of ugly piece of clothing that everyone low-key wants to know where it's from. I'm not really sure because I haven't tried it on. It's a winner. I think it's gonna be cute. Come on. Ah, oh, that's amazing. I love that top. I think I'd have to put a little bit more love into figuring out like the outfit that this goes in. Lastly, from Saito, we got this little green moment and I saw someone wearing this on TikTok the other day. I should have saved the video, but she looks so cute and I'm assuming it's the same top from the same place. That's the freaking cutest little thing I've ever seen, like a cute little summer skirt or just like denim jeans. I like the little like neon-y kind of detail. I did do like a little fold, which I do with a lot of my stuff. I just feel like it looks cuter to have like a little gap. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I think this little like the little bows and the fact that you can tie the arms up. So cute. <laughs> Okay, did I actually make an order on Virgo? No. <laughs> I found this really cute set, and by really cute, I didn't actually like the top at all, but I really wanted the pants. So I was technically just gonna buy the set for the pants, and after some time, I actually found those pants on Princess Polly. So I worn these like 10 times, and I bought them because I saw this girl on TikTok, they looked really freaking cute on her, and I just was like really hoping that I would look 2% as good in these pants as they do on her. So I ended up just doing a full order on Princess Polly. In my defense, I feel like Princess Polly is like a super popular brand for TikTokers to wear. I just like shop on there all the time, so I wanted to shop somewhere new and then gave in and shopped on Princess Polly. They have really cute clothes though. I got these. I'll just have to show it in the overlay because I'm sure you can't really see the detail right now, but they kind of like cinch in the front. Here they are. I think that weirdly, this like V, I just would have assumed it would be really unflattering. Like I hate it when like gym leggings do that. <laughs> they also can be tied up at the back and it's like cute. So you could like wear them like this. Let me know which way you prefer. I personally think that I just like it when it has a little, I don't know. <laughs> this gives me Oh Mighty vibes. Do you guys know that brand on Instagram? Oh, it says all you need is love. That's kind of true. I feel like if I put all my hair back and just have these little strips down, I'm getting like major Y2K vibes. This is a cute outfit. I could just imagine myself wearing this exact outfit in literally every single video for the rest of my life. Actually, all the tops that I got from Princess Polly are giving me major Y2K vibes. So I got this one. It looked really nice on the website. It looks like something a clown would wear. Okay, didn't ask. Half of me likes it and then I kind of want to return it because it's not exactly what I expected. I think I've got like one side higher than the other. It's giving me like a little lopsided moment. <laughs> I don't know, should I return it? And then I'm just super into like little statement tops. So I got this one shoulder little cheetah print. I can't even tell if I like the top that much. I feel like everything that I put on perfectly goes with these pants. This try on part is about this top, but for real, these pants like <laughs> go with everything and they feel like leggings. My best friend, King Foster, told me that I was like not winning in the accessories department. So I got this green bag and then I got a kind of similar bag, but in brown. This one has a super cool strap on it and a little like coin purse. That looks so cool. What the fuck? I don't know, accessory queen, like look at me go. I just feel like if I actually wear a bag that matches my outfit, I really feel like it makes me feel like I got my shit. 
together. I'm not really the kind of person that wears my hair like back off my head, but I got this little headband that's giving me some Blair Waldorf vibes, but it's cute. It's a little different. Like most things, I feel like I'm pretty late on this trend, but I got this like a little brown headband, mainly because I saw someone on Pinterest do it. I'm sure it will not look good on me. Oh, I actually feel like it's kind of cute. I feel like this is the first time I have successfully like put on a headband or any hat or anything in a video and not wanted to just rip it off my head straight away. It's kind of cute. Let me know what you think. Do you guys think this trend is over? Was I too late? <laughs> My intentions were that I made an order on a Dika and I was gonna show you guys that, but there was a problem with the order so it didn't arrive in time. But I ended up going into Glassons. I saw a TikTok the other day that was talking about the fact that Charlie D'Amelio was wearing the skirt that I already own from Glassons. When I go into this store, I literally have to not look at everything because I actually think everything in the store is my style. The first thing that I saw was these like checked pants. I feel like checked pants are honestly a little bit too intense but because they're like this like neutral beigey color, you can kind of get away with it. This is a part of their Planet Conscious range. It says their fibers are 50% recycled cotton, reducing our carbon footprint. I feel like that's kind of cool. It gives me like skating in like California, like cool girl vibes that honestly I feel like are not compatible with me. You know what y'all, flare pants are my new thing because they're like actual acceptable sweatpants or leggings and it looks like you put on like an actual dressy outfit. Wearing brown clothing is the best thing that I've ever seen and I feel like everyone on TikTok does it so well. I even saw a video the other day where someone dyed all of their clothing brown with just like regular clothing dye. So I may or may not be doing that in the next couple of videos. <laughs> I got another vest which this one's like a little purple thing. Again, I would just like wear that in a little bra top with like flare pants or something. I really love these colors together and it's got this tiny little brown stripe in it. I could have been a little bit earlier to the vest trend, but I made it. I really feel like I'm shook a little bit at how much purple and brown <laughs> kind of is going together. I got this zebra print, very intense top, which I actually kind of hate when you hold it up like this, but I just like randomly on a whim tried it on and it looked really cute with the brown flares so <sighs> if you see something and you think it's ugly but you think maybe it would look cute on just don't pick it up it'll save you money don't do it this is what a pinterest person would wear tell me i'm wrong like this is all over my pinterest I feel like I've made it. I've really made it. Like I said, I am posting every day this week. So if you guys haven't checked out the previous videos, I'll have them in a playlist below. Hit subscribe so you guys don't miss tomorrow's. And comment down below, let me know how you would spend the Visa gift card. That's open to all of my subscribers, but I'll have the info down below and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hit like as well, because I will be working super hard on these videos.